we're out here in Fredrickson, Washington today. We're installing uh, some hydro storage chambers. This is actually gonna be a parking lot with a really large warehouse. The Pacific Northwest has a lot of rain, so we gotta manage the water. We gotta have a place for it to go. We gotta take care of our, our salmon industry. So we have to have these underground systems in order to store the water or store the water and release it slowly back into the ecosystem. This one is a filtration gallery. I think it's meant to hold water because the ground doesn't perk. This is probably the biggest one I've done. This particular project has 320,000 cubic feet of storage on it. And that's 1,971 hydro store 290 chambers. We put nine inches of rock under it with fabric and we're setting the chambers and rocking the chambers as we build it. There's so much rock on this job, it's unbelievable. This project was originally specified with a, one of our competitors, but we were basically able to use our Princo engineers to come up with a similar design, a similar footprint at a more economical price and a better value. It made everybody happy, it was a win-win situation. And it just makes sense to use plastic over traditional materials like metal or concrete or something like that. It's gonna cost a lot less and it's a lot easier to install. With the Hydra Store, the 290 chambers, you can have two guys, they can lift them. They can put the chamber right on top of another chamber and just keep going down the line. It really just makes the job flow along faster. And the end caps are great. They're all marked with the type of sizes that you need for the pipe. Really easy to cut. It's a logistical challenge in order to get the chambers and the pipe and the fittings out here with the scale of the job. But because we have those plants out here on the West Coast now, we can definitely service uh, any type of project like this. Water management is very important and we're really happy to be part of that solution.